Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm Sue Dengenis, Director of Marketing for Synchro Software. And today's 15-minute Friday uh, is being recorded. Uh, I will send out the link to the video for everyone who has registered, and it will be posted on our YouTube channel, so you can always access it there, as well as all the other 15-minute Fridays that we've done in the past. <coughs> Um, please feel free to submit questions throughout the webinar and we'll get to as many as we can within the 15 minutes and if we aren't able to get to all of them then we will follow up by uh, email. Um, so today's topic is importing Autodesk InfraWorks into Synchro Pro. It's being presented by Amir Hamawi. Amir is in our 4D project delivery team in Berkeley. Uh, he worked at Bechtel for many years and has a degree in mechanical engineering from UC Berkeley. Um, and so he's a great uh, 4D expert resource for you guys uh, when you need it. Um, so I'll let Amir get started and uh, thanks again for joining us and, and please continue to submit questions throughout. Thanks. Amir, all yours. All right, thank you. Um, good morning or good afternoon um, to everyone out there. And today I'm going to go over um, the workflow having to do with uh, creating an InfraWorks model um, for use in your 4D project as a site context. And uh, so let's just get started. Um, so InfraWorks is a pretty useful program to create context. And typically what I would do is go to their model builder as a start. Um, in the model builder, you can search for a city. and essentially select an area of interest and create a model from it. So, so once the model is created, <coughs> it's uh, being created in the cloud um, and you're going to get an email notification saying that that model is ready. I've downloaded this model in advance. Um, I kind of picked an interesting place in Birmingham called Spaghetti Junction. Um, Spaghetti Junction is a infamous um, freeway interchange. And let me kind of zoom in on one section. As you can see, this is uh, quite the quite the elaborate interchange um, that was built, you know, several decades ago. Um, but with the InfraWorks model, you're able to uh, quickly create, you know, download the roads and the highways and the buildings and whatever you may need for your project. Um, the default <coughs> images coming out of InfraWorks um, are pretty decent. They come from Bing, um, but usually people want a higher quality image. So let me just zoom in on one section uh, over here, and you can see the difference in in like a high resolution quality and a low resolution quality. So over here on the left hand side you kind of see the lower resolution and on the right you get a higher resolution. And the way that I accomplish that is by using another piece of software called um, Quantum GIS, QGIS. This is a free um, open source software that you can use to essentially download images. Um, there's a plugin called the Open Layers plugin, Google Maps, Google Satellite View. And using that, you're able to, you know, basically navigate like you would um, and save images. Um, so typically, I would go ahead and say save, save image, and you can save a sequence of images. And after that's saved, you can go back to InfraWorks and uh, add them to your model here under data sources. Um, data sources you can add um, rastered images. And in this case, I've gone in and added some imagery called um, Spaghetti Junction. Um, the only thing here that you need to take note of is you're going to use the WGS84. Um, this is the coordinate system that Google Earth uses. Um, so after you add those images, <coughs> you can have a much higher um, fidelity satellite image to use in your model. Um, so it's just, it's just re-rendering here. Um, the other thing you could do in the InfraWorks model um, is if you're not really satisfied with the, um, the level of the terrain, <clears throat> you can download it either from your project, from LiDAR or whatever it may be. Um, but there are a few resources that I, d I would like to point out um, for your use. One is called the Earth Explorer. Um, 
this is the website here, earthexplorerusgs.gov. Um, <clears throat> with this one, you can go and download uh, all sorts of <clears throat> GIS data um, to have a higher fidelity model. There's also one for the United States called the National Map. Gov. Here you have um, more resources than in the Earth Explorer, but it is pretty useful. Um, so for this InformWorks model, I didn't need to have any higher, <coughs> um, higher definition um, terrain, but I just wanted to point that out to you. Um, so once you kind of have your InformWorks model ready to go, uh, then you're going to essentially just export it out. And under settings, you can go to export 3D model. Now, in the export 3D model, you're going to uh, essentially have to define an area first for export. And you then are going to select the, the type desktop. <clears throat> you have three options for exporting. You have FBX, um, Colada, DAE, and uh, Wavefront Object. Um, I found that the FBX works the best, so you can just save the XBX. Um, <clears throat> the one thing you do want to check, uncheck is merge objects with the same texture. Um, this will allow you to work with the geometry in a much more efficient way within um, Synchro Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and export out this model. It may take a little bit of time, so I have a, another model that I have prepped. Let's see. When you go back into Synchro Pro, you're just going to import it like you would any other 3D object. Um, After the model has uh, <clears throat> been imported, I'm going to just kind of highlight a few few ways to kind of navigate around the model. <clears throat> so this is um, what is being has been imported. Um, from InfraWorks, and you can see it's got you know very similar quality <coughs> to what you have in the InfraWorks file itself. Um, <coughs> one thing to note here with the when you have <coughs> that object uh, where you said don't merge textures, this is what I'm saying here, where your individual objects aren't going to be all combined into um, one type, one object type. So it's a uh, if you're going to go ahead and, in this case, maybe you know, <coughs> create this highway interchange, um, create a schedule for it, you're going to want to break it up into sections. So, so in this case, like if I wanted to work with this one road, I'd be able to kind of work with that one segment of road by using the 3D object tree. So that's pretty much um, the, the whole workflow of getting uh, an InfraWorks model um, into Synchro Pro. And now I can field any questions. Okay, great. Thanks, Amir. So if anybody has any questions, please submit them. Uh, I'll give you a couple minutes. And in the meantime, uh, I'll do a little commercial. Uh, so if any of you uh, online um, aren't currently a member of the Synchro Software LinkedIn user group. It's a great place to get updates and news on, on what's happening. We also post all the new workflow videos there. Um, so please join that if you're not currently a member. Uh, and also for future webinars, you can uh, register from our homepage. Um, so all of the future webinar uh, topics and all are available through uh, are available through a link on the home page and you can register there. Um, I don't see any questions at this point, so uh, I'll just thank everybody for joining us. And uh, for those of you in the U.S., um, have a safe and enjoyable Halloween. Don't eat too much sugar. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll join us again next week um, for another topic of 15-Minute Fridays. Thanks, everybody.